Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with some more Last Express. Uh, let's just pick right up where we left off. <laughs> Good way to start. Hang on, I got another one. <coughs> oh, boy. Okay, so we're back. And you're going to have to excuse me as I desperately try to remember what... Трюк, достойный вашего деда. Ну почему вы все время вспоминаете девушку? Ведь вы же со мной играете, не с ним. Он вас хорошо играет, но и ты. I'm not a little girl anymore. No, you're not. Obi-Wan has taught you well. <clears throat> anyway, they just sit here playing chess for most of the time. Now, there's one particular thing that's supposed to happen here. Do you remember last time we just left Munich? And yes, here's Herr Schmidt, and he's looking for me. Ah, Herr Whitney. The merchandise has been loaded onto the train. I have fulfilled my part of the bargain. I want to see the gold. Our agreement included delivery of the arms in Belgrade. We're not in Belgrade yet. Herr Whitney, since I boarded this train, I have begun to feel that things are not as they should be. If you cannot reassure me, I intend to get off in Vienna and take my merchandise with me. Guten Tag! Well, okay, <clears throat> so that's a bit of a problem here. Now the question is, like, how invested are we in particular in all of this stuff going on, right? Like, this was Tyler's mission. Tyler was trying to get these arms delivered to the Serbian revolutionaries. <clears throat> and now, with Tyler dead, it's kind of up to us. Whatever he was trying to do clearly failed. Uh, he had that treasure, or whatever, the Firebird, that he was gonna sell for gold that he needed to buy these guns. Now. That trade was probably going to happen with Kronos, I assume. <laughs> and now the question is, you know, what do we do at this point? One thing is for certain, we need to, at the very least, as he said, reassure Herr Schmidt. You, I really must return. No, of course. Of course. Herr Schmidt, are you having lunch alone? As a matter of fact, I'm waiting for a lady. Have a nice wait. Premier service. Premier service. Oh, really? <laughs> Le déjeuner est servi. Lunch is served. All right. I wonder who the lady is. Wow. Could it be? <laughs> Excuse me. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excuse. I'll just sit down here. Premier service. So, for the next bit of the game, there isn't really much to do except, you know, walk around and explore a bit. This is what I intend to do. You were not in... Oh, hang on, am I... Oh yeah, this is the... Pardon me, uh, sir. Pardon me. I'm confused. He was not in here a minute ago. Because... Excuse me. We seem to be sharing a compartment. No, no, please don't get up. I'll just sit here and read the paper. Don't mind me at all. It appears the train's quite full. Awful nuisance when you think you've got a compartment to yourself and then they stick a complete stranger in with you at the last minute. <laughs> Happened to me any number of times. George Abbott. Claude Boutarel. French, then, yes, are you? Monsieur. Are you going all the way to Constantinople? I am traveling to a small town on the Gulf Coast of Persia with my wife and son. Oh, lovely. Then that must be your family I saw next door. Excuse me, monsieur. It is most probable. By the way, I was wondering, you haven't seen a red cravat anywhere, have you? Uh, I was just unpacking and it seems to have disappeared. I believe my son has taken it. Really? What was the name of the town you mentioned? Masjid e Suleiman. Of course, the new oil refinery they're building at Abadar. I say, you're not working for Anglo Persian, are you? Why not? Well, I suppose you being a Frenchman, I just assume... I am an engineer, monsieur. The Anglo-Persian company is doing the most innovative research in oil exploration. Yes. Well, wouldn't want the Royal Navy to be caught short of fuel oil, would we? Tell me, are the reserves in that little town, what's it called again, really as big as they say? I cannot offer an opinion, monsieur. 
No, of course you wouldn't. They're quite brave of your wife to go all that way and live in the desert. She would not wish to be without me. And it will be a good opportunity for Francois. He has a fine scientific mind. He seems like a very active little boy. I don't suppose you could ask him for my cravat. Uh, I, I think now that I, I remember him using it as a kind of sieve to test salinity in the water. Most remarkable in a boy of seven. Don't you agree? Quite remarkable. <laughs> it is a natural curiosity of the scientific mind, monsieur. Yes, with all that trapped in the body of a little boy. Don't you just hate it when they stick you in with a stranger on the train who just talks way too much? Anyway, one of the things that has to happen is, uh, Francois... Oh, good lord. Not this silly business with Madame K.O. again. So typical to devote weeks on end of the front page to this preposterous murder trial. I'm sorry, I guess he's not thing, done. Nothing else was happening in the whole of Europe. Mm hmm? Well, tell me, you're a Frenchman. What's your opinion of the affair? Why do the tawdry details of a murder oh, trial exert such a fascination for the public mind? And not to say it only happens in France, of course. The English papers are much better. But still, the French do push it rather far. Six columns across the front page of La Figaro, with complete transcripts of the trial on page 12. It is a bit much. Don't you agree? Alright, this is getting a little too overwhelming right now with too many people having too many conversations. I'm sorry, I'm out. Let's take a look at what's going on. Yep, those two are definitely having lunch together. Now let me very quickly, just because I, I have a feeling that I missed something earlier. No, he is definitely not here. So I wonder where he came in from. Anyway, let's just jump back to where we were. The piano is a little bit more difficult. <laughs> yeah. oh, Herr Schmidt, ich bin wirklich daran interessiert, was Sie machen geschäftlich. What is your business anyway? You make it sound so mysterious. I'm afraid you would find it very boring, but without going into detail, I will Don't say that me. my work here, here is not only commerce, and that in my own small way, I'm doing my part for the fatherland. Je ne vois pas pourquoi vous avez à partager votre compartiment avec cet anglais. La compagnie n'aurait-elle pas pu le mettre ailleurs Dans ma profession, il est parfois nécessaire de s'habituer à des conditions de vie difficiles. <rire> C'est exactement pour cela que François et moi venons nous installer à Abadan, pour vous offrir une maison respectable. Chercher du pétrole dans le désert. Pourquoi ne sommes-nous pas restés à Villefranche Votre situation était enviable. Notre petite maison était si jolie. Mon jardin était prêt à fleurir. Y aura-t-il des jardins à Abadan Le désert n'est pas réputé pour ses jardins, mais pour son pétrole. Et quand il n'y aura plus de pétrole, François sera aussi sauvage qu'un nomade du désert. Il est déjà tellement impossible, il rampe par terre et ramasse toujours les choses les plus sales. Maman, regarde à la fenêtre, il y a un cimetière. Le sol est un endroit naturel pour trouver des insectes. Oh, il est impossible de vous parler. So, yeah, an interesting little conversation that I had with my maintenant le violon. crying out loud. Je vais à tout prix parler au chef de train. Est-ce que c'est elle assise avec le gros monsieur Je trouve qu'elle est très belle. Better Ensuite, hope they don't speak French. So, the thing about about this game, right, is as I said, things just kind of happen up here. The, the the train is its own... Ah, there we go. I was waiting for this part. The train is kind of its own little living environment, right? Its own little ecosystem. And everything kind of, Good you know, afternoon. lives and, uh, and works here. Uh, please follow me. We have a nice table for you right here. So in the a car. lot of this game is just wandering Enjoy around and, you know, constantly rewinding, constantly being in different places, overhearing different conversations, and, uh, and that kind of thing, you know? So right now, for instance... This is a new passenger. We saw him get on board in uh, in Munich. And so really all that happens right now is you're yes, just... Yes, monsieur. The escalop. That's a sort of veal cutlet, isn't it? The escalop de veau. Yes, monsieur. Well, I'll have that. Well done, please. Very good, monsieur. I love this guy so much. He's just so British. Mind if I join you? No, by all means. I don't believe we've been introduced. George Abbott. Tyler Whitney. 
What foul weather. Can't seem to get out of this storm. It must be raining all across Europe. Quite remarkable, really. I understand you've made friends with the Obolenskis. You must introduce me. I'm fascinated by Russia. That was quite a scare you had last night. The chef de train told me you handled it quite well. You didn't happen to notice whether the other Russian fellow, what's his name, the young fellow, was hanging about? I don't recall seeing him. I'm afraid the old man has quite lost his head. Still, he has played a role for years as a sort of informal ambassador for the Tsar, if you know what I mean. I didn't know you were a doctor. And you? Oh, I'm travelling on business. Every now and then the company has a little matter to take care of on the continent, so off I go. Isn't she enchanting? That violinist, Miss Wolf. She seems to be getting on rather well with Herr Schmidt. Not her type, I would have thought. Rather a surprise to see Herr Schmidt here. I suppose he members of the Red Hands Club. back in Germany, what with his factories stepping up production and all that. Such an industrious people, the Germans. I wonder what business he has in the East. But you haven't told me a thing about yourself. Will you be going far? All the way to Constantinople. Oh, how lovely. Business or pleasure? Actually, I'm travelling for my health. Yes, yeah, so nice to get away from one's troubles, assuming one has any. New climates, new horizons and all that. Of course, I don't need to tell you that, you being a doctor. Quite a coincidence you're being a doctor, and, and an American, I mean. When I boarded at Munich, the police were looking for an American doctor who'd got away from the police in Paris. Apparently, he's mixed up with those Irish fanatics, home rule and all that, the ones that killed that policeman. Papers were full of it. Anyhow, it seems that this young doctor is in quite a bit of trouble. Don't believe everything you read in the papers. No, but I do. It's so much more fun that way. <laughs> Still, it's none of my concern. I say, that jacket looks a bit short in the arms. Was it a French tailor who took it in for you? I think I'll go check on the Oblinskis. Yeah, yes, of course. Look forward to seeing you again. What a pleasant fellow. <laughs> Just what I was going to say. Oh, man. Oh, it looks like he's already finished, too. Oh. Again, I, lo I love that guy so much. He's just, he's just, he's just so British, you know? As, as Herr Schmidt put, one does have the most unexpected encounters on trains, right? And especially in this period where uh, a train like this is very likely carrying... <laughs> but but you, you also have dark Fräulein Wolf. I am impressed. I know, I don't show it. Shall we have a coffee in the smoking car? That would be lovely. So, oh, okay, this is another important event is about to happen here, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna, you know, look around and observe. Shall we sit here? I think this will be more comfortable, don't you? I have eaten so much I could just lie down on one of these couches and go to sleep. Go right ahead. I will wake you when we reach Constantinople. <laughs> I thought you were getting off in Vienna. Ach yes, I had forgotten. But apparently she's going to, to Constantinople. That's interesting. Or is she, or did he just assume? Oh, pick up the waiter. Nimm sie etwas Milch? Nur Zucker, bitte. Zwei Stück. Ah, you like it sweet. <laughs> One thing I find interesting is how they continuously switch between languages. Sometimes they speak English. I don't understand why they would be speaking English, because she's Jewish based on her her accent. I assume she's Austro-Hungarian, which would mean that German is probably a language she would more likely speak. Because she did. Разговоры о политических партиях. Это все делается правящим классом для показуха. Всякое правительство рабство. Все они стоят одного. Lunch is served. Ну вот вы все развалили, а подумали вы о том, что будет возведено взамен? Ничего не понадобится возводить взамен тирании. Как только частная собственность будет упразднена, все люди станут равными и свободными. Новое мирное общество образуется само по себе. Вы так и не сделали ваш ход. Sounds like a Marxist utopia, huh? All right, so everybody is now nicely gathered in this place, which means that here we go. Fräulein Wolf, it is a privilege to meet so talented an artist. My name is Kronos. Your Excellency, you do me a great honor. Not creepy at all. My car is equipped with a piano. 
I wonder if you would do me the favor of joining me in a duet. It will help pass the time on this rather long journey. What a splendid idea! <laughs> shall we say three o'clock? I shall count the minutes until then. Good day. Tiresome, your business in Vienna? Oh, well, you know, you always hope that a man will keep his word. When he does not, one hates to lose a good bit of business, but uh, man can nicht anders. Also, dann kommt ihr Geschäft nicht zustande? Ist es abgesagt? He's not sure yet, right? It's looking like there's a problem. Problem I'm gonna have to try and Excuse rectify. Excuse me, pardon me. Pardon. Assuming I still want to, of course. So this concert is obviously something important that's going to happen. In the meantime, while they're going, there's something I want to check. Okay. I could go in again because the, the guy's view is blocked, right? No. Is Tatiana... Nope, it's not here yet. Okay. You'll see. You'll see what it is. Remember, she's, uh, she's watching something for her... Uh... Ah! I was hoping for that kid to start running around the train again. Tatiana is hiding something for Miss Wolf, right? That's something that we know. <clears throat> hey, kid. Kid, get over here. It's on the train here somewhere. It's just... Remember that time when he, he held, that, held out that whistle and he was like, Je l'ai trouvé, il est à moi. Which I believe is French for I found it, it's mine. I don't speak French. I just... There we go. He still got the whistle. No, I can't. Why can't I talk to him? I'm supposed to be able to talk to him. I think I might have to have it selected. Huh. That is bizarre. There we go. Hey, petit. Viens de voir. No. Je l'ai trouvé. Il est à moi. <laughs> that smug look on his face. So we heard from the dad, right, that the kid... Something about beetles were definitely mentioned, right? And I found one crawling around on the table. Bonjour, monsieur. So now I have adequately... You still not talking to me? Guess not. Excusez-moi. On échange. D'accord. Si tu veux. Il dort maintenant. Il ne marche plus. It's sleeping now. Bonjour, it can't monsieur. walk anymore. Sounds like childish imagination playing about, right? But it's actually important. Can I... Like, not what I meant to do. I'm wondering if I can... There's a way for me to, like, examine this, or... No. All I can do is blow the whistle. Anyway, so now we're just kind of uh, Bonjour, monsieur. kicking our feet about until 3 o'clock. Which is when the next big thing is going to happen, right? <clears throat> that particular concert. Mr. Oh, Delnico, excuse uh, me. Pardon me. Here, Schmidt? Not now. After the concert. After the concert, right it is. Away, monsieur. Excuse me, monsieur. Hold up. No problem. So there's several things that I want to get done like, excuse -moi, during excuse -moi, this day. Excuse me, monsieur. Aren't you supposed to... You're supposed to give me the invitation. Oui, monsieur. So it is half past one currently, so we still got a bit. Si je te donne un ordre, penses-tu que tu puisses suivre mes directives sans faire d'erreur? Oui, monsieur, absolument, monsieur. Cet après-midi, il y a un concert prévu dans le compartiment de son excellence. Madame Mouffe joue du violon. Il y aura beaucoup de passages. Peux-tu surveiller que tout le monde trouve son chemin et que les autres passagers ne soient pas dérangés? Oui, monsieur. Voici la liste des invités. 
si quelqu'un est trop curieux et insiste pour passer, tu dois l'en empêcher et lui expliquer que c'est une réception privée, avec bien sûr la plus grande des politesses. Bien sûr. Vous pouvez me faire confiance, mon oncle. Et ne quitte ton poste à aucun prix. Bien sûr que non. Je veux dire oui, mon oncle. Nepotism. I mean, I'm sure no one's going to fault him for getting a train conductor job. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Ah, monsieur Whitney. Prince Kronos wishes to invite you to a concert in his private car. Madame Wolf will play the violin. And he wants me to be there. Oh, yes, monsieur. Three o'clock. His Excellency was most eager that you should attend. Apparently, I'm on the guest list, too. So... Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Another couple of things are supposed to happen at this point. Yes? Who is it? Miss Wolf, excuse me. Oh. Can't go in there yet. It indicates that I can go in there sometime, right? So again, this, this bit of the game I think is just going to be a lot of uh, wandering around and... You know, just... Sitting around, waiting for things to happen. So I'm going to try and explore the train a little bit. Bonsoir, mesdames. Avez-vous fait votre choix? Oui, euh, moi je prends le poulet. Et pour madame? I like the veal cutlet, thank you. Un poulet et une escalope de veau. Merci, mesdames. Why was that not subtitled, I, I wonder? I wish you were on the island now. I hate these times in between. Oh, I love the in-between times. It's the only time I can really think. Something going on with those passengers too, and I'm curious what it is. So this is an area of the train that we haven't quite visited yet, nor can we because uh, that guy's standing watch there. But whenever he leaves, right, that's always an opportunity for us to... Can't. Can't look into the kitchen. Pardon me. Ah, here's my opportunity. Ah oui, mais, mais par exemple, là, le, le couteau, il, il est pas, il est pas, il est pas aiguisé. Eh ben justement, qu'est-ce que t'attends pour l'aiguiser Tous Bah ben bien sûr tous. Oh, excuse-moi, monsieur. <laughs> C'était pas assez souhait, monsieur. Good evening, monsieur. <laughs> good evening, good evening. I totally belong here, and I'm not just a passenger. Was decided to go randomly explore the train. All right, what do we got over here? Looks like another little cabin. Not sure what it's for. Cabin compartment, whatever. What about here? You look at any of these diagrams. Nope, I guess not. Uh, transports. Uh, I can't. Can't make out any of this. My screen is also very small. In case you're wondering. So continuing along this way, there's another locked room over here that I can't go into. And then finally, it's also locked, that's the train. So you can see that's the locomotive. There's a kennel right here. This is important. This little place is important to note that it's here. So I'm just going to go back before the guy returns. It's important to know that this bit of the train is here, too. Oh, and we're stopping. Two o'clock. Got an hour left. Now, this wolf, I think, is still in their cabin, but another important bit that happens, I think, is... Uh, at one point, uh, passengers are going to start to complain about Miss Wolf's dog, and the dog's going to be taken to that kennel. Bonjour, monsieur. But again, I don't think there's really much for us to do within the next, like, hour or so. Hour of game time. So, I'm just going to wander around. I'm going to be looking at stuff. Actually, a good thing for us to do right now, I think, is to... Can I, can I not sit down on this? No. Okay, so let's just hang out in our cabin, and I'm going to try reading the, uh, the translated poem that we got. Right? This was uh, what uh, Tatiana wrote for us, she translated our poem. The Firebird. Every night in a far off land, the Firebird stole golden apples from the royal garden. The old king said to Prince Ivan, 
Go speak with the gray wolf and bring the firebird to me, for I must hear him sing. Gray wolf. Uh, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you there. Take you. Climb on my back and I will take you. Crossed out. Sorry. Uh, in the desert, it's probably like an editor's note, right? In the desert heart of a vast southern land hangs a cage of silver bells. On the red, uh, red rock? Yeah, on the red rock painted with the old shapes of dream time. The bells rang out when Ivan rained, when Ivan rained it, but the firebird had flown. I'm sorry, this, this handwriting style is very hard for me to read. Ah, uh, I meant to turn the page. There's more to that. There's like several verses. Gray wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you. A world away lies a colder kingdom. Uh, ringed? Signed? Uh, I think it's ring. That's, that's the R, isn't it? Something with blue. Uh, in a circle of ancient stones, the firebird guards a house with a golden mane. A house with a golden mane? I guess. The firebird vanished in a bright flash, so Ivan grasped the reins. Gray wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you. On the rooftop of the world, I think this is oops, uh, Elena sleeps under the firebird's wing. One look at her and Prince Ivan forgot his quest. He kissed her and she rose. The firebird watched them go. Gray wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you. They turned toward home and uh, home and kind, home and kind. I can't read this, I'm sorry. Uh, on, the way, on the wayside slept. His jealous brothers, seeing them, cut Ivan into a hundred pieces. Gray wolf, cried Alina, we must find the waters of life and death. That's morbid. Gray wolf, where shall I go? So apparently the girl takes over. Now climb on my back and I will take you. In the warm seas, under the cross of stars, on a grassy island, stand the heads of silent gods looking ever, out, ever outwards. There Elena found the waters of life and death made Ivan whole. Darn it, I keep... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do, 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 do. So they brought him back to life from like a billion pieces. Gray wolf, where shall I go? Climb on my back and I will take you. Go to the city of the temple built by the son of David, the Tower of Babel. When the blue doors open, Ivan and Elena entered in, and there the firebird waited to open his throat and sing to them. And so they dwelt in harmony all their lives, and each night the firebird sang his song to them. Until death, death the destroyer came and overtook them as they ran, and turned their bones to fire and then to dust. And then here's the original Russian text. Not necessarily a very happy story, considering, yeah, they lived happily and then they died. But I'm just now thinking, and this is something that I never actually realized until right now, but that poem actually is a lot more important than just a random piece of information that you, you got from your friend. But everything that Tyler was working on here is apparently linked. And again, I'm just now realizing how. We'll discuss that later. But again, I want to stop, please. You double click, then it starts taking you like that. So Le now... Wells, 15 minutes d'arrêt. Arriving in Wells. <clears throat> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wander around right now. I'm gonna wait and see if things happen. If they do, then edits will follow where you see those things. And if not, we does not know. Then you don't think we should accept? Why not? Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. I'm talking you about the like? concert. Yes, I would. Bon, d'accord. I think they were talking about the concert. Yeah. So if not, then we will just see each other at the concert in 40 minutes game time. I'm just going to continue wandering along until then.
Jacques, sperr uns doch bitte die Tür zu, während ich weg bin. Excusez-moi, Monsieur. Miss Wolf has left her compartment, and apparently I already missed that bit where her dog was taken away from her. It's weird because I just literally just visited the kennel and the dog was not there yet, so... Excusez-moi. You're fine, go ahead. All right, so still got some time until the concert. So back to the wandering, I guess. Herr Schmidt? Herr Schmidt, can we talk? Unless you can show me the gold, there is nothing to talk about. Good day. Rude. But it's also a very good piece of direction, right? You need to give me my gold. <clears throat> also, um, just to confirm. Hang on, hang on, I'm misclicking. Fits in the box. So this is one of Tyler's belongings. Where were you going? Conductor, would you unlock my compartment, please? Seriously? Of course, monsieur. You just had your compartment locked and now you're... There you are, monsieur. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. Thank you. The German and the French guy speaking English to each other makes a little bit more sense. Again, I, uh, it's you know, the obvious answer to... Excuse me, madame. Would Most you of the compartment, please. Of course, mademoiselle. Thank you. That's Tatiana. Pardon me. It's easy for you to say that now. Now that I have nothing to go back to, that's not my fault. You weren't talking like that in London. Not to you. I don't know why it's something one day and not another. They want to tell us you when they want. She's back and forth. No one's feelings can change that fact. Well, mine do. You can't treat people as if they were your toys. There are consequences, you know. I've given up a lot to come on this trip. I don't care about the things you give up. For me, that's nothing. What you give to me, what you make me feel, that's what I care about. You won't give me a chance. Ah, oh, toi, tu parles toujours de sacrifices, de conséquences, d'obligations. Je m'en fiche, moi. Si j'avais voulu tout ça, j'aurais épousé Philippe. Au moins, ça aurait eu des avantages. Excuse me. Condescending much? Bonjour, monsieur. Ooh. Something going on here with these ladies. Apparently they just had something of a heated discussion. I take it. I love, again, how you got all these little microcosms of things going on around here. Anyway, I think, yeah. Now is the time. <clears throat> Bonjour, monsieur. It's not exactly three o'clock yet, but everybody seems to be already on their way. We already saw Tatiana leave, and although the Belgian oh wait, here we go. Oh, they are here. Shall we sit down? Oh, sure. sure. This, way I this is really delightful. <coughs> Miss Tatiana, yes, are you comfortable much. there? Thank you. Oh, Count Oblensky is still not feeling well? A pity. They are starting.
let's uh let's not do that huh well this is delightful but I'm afraid now that you're all occupied I have hijinks to get involved in 